The next thing I'm going to draw on is are his legs down here. So I imagine first legs going to go to about here. So I'm going to have his legs fairly straight because he's a bit of a straight walking sort of guy. But in the inside here, rather than going straight up like a perfect rectangle, I'm going to make his the line go inwards slightly. So his leg gets a little bit thicker at the top. I find it makes it more. I'm going to do his other leg here. Normally we bend our legs when we walk, but this is Frankenstein, so I'm going to have him straight legged. I'm going to have one leg here. Right there. I'm going to try and have them about the same length. What I've done here is I get, I'm trying to draw it so it's a little bit narrower at where his ankle is to where it is up top. And I look at, does this look about right? I think that's okay. I'll put his feet on afterwards. I'm going to put his arms on now as well. He's going to be marching along there, walking with his arms wobbling from one side to the other. So from the top of his shoulder downwards, draw a straight line. And a fairly long line. We, a lot of kids don't draw arms nearly long enough. And he can have pretty long arms. I'm going to probably go to there-ish. And just like before, I'm going to go in a little bit. So it's a little bit wider at the shoulder than it is at the wrist because that's how we are. Even with you guys, your little wrists are going to be smaller than your shoulders. One on one side. And I'll do the same one over on this side. Doing my best to try and get them to be about the same length. For here, his head. Let's just keep it a rectangular head. It's easier that way. Got a little head. I wanted to. Maybe a little bit of neck. We need some place to put that bolt. It's a little tiny square head there. Now, lastly, I'm going to put his feet. I'm going to give him his feet down here. And let's go for. We'll draw his feet in parts. I'm going to start off here with just a square for each of his feet. Uh, that could be a rectangular head too, that's okay. And then along here, I'm going to do turn this into a D shape. On one, and a D on the other. We want to have those feet a little bit bigger. I like big feet. Let's go to about this size. Oh, that's to me. That's, that looks a little better. We can always do that. There's nothing to say we can't change the size of something after we've drawn it. You know what? I'd like that to be bigger or smaller. And for the peel, I almost like a little. Curve C. There we go. We'll leave them as boots. There we go. I'll put more details on there afterwards. Let's zoom in a little bit.